Hey guys, it's Carrie Myers. It's Carrie Myers Photography in Seattle, Washington. And I'm going to show you a really quick and easy demonstration on how to merge two images together in Photoshop to achieve the chin and hands pose, also sometimes called the froggy pose. Um, here are two images side by side of a little girl from this week. And as you can see, you're going to need an assistant or the parent to help you out with this pose. In the first shot, um, the parent or the assistant is holding the baby's wrists together to support them. And in the second shot, they're holding the head. So the baby is safe, not going to um, fall over. Okay. So the key with this shot is you really want to make sure that baby is good and sleepy for this pose and that they're really going to hold the pose for the shot. If they're moving around too much, I will typically just skip past this pose um, and not chance baby's safety. So uh, once you have the images in Photoshop side by side, it's a really quick and easy couple of steps. You're going to take um, a piece of one image and drag it on to the other. And it really doesn't matter which image you start with, um, so you can kind of decide which you prefer. You can either take the bottom half of this image and drag it on to this image, or vice versa, take the top half of this image and drag it on to the other. Um, I'm going to start by dragging a piece of this image um, onto the other image. So first I need to select the area that I want to drag. So I'm going to take my lasso tool and you want it feathered at anywhere between 15 and 30 pixels when you're going to lasso the area. Okay, so I'm going to lasso the bottom half of the image that I want to drag onto the other. And then you'll see your marching ants come up then go ahead and right click and do layer, select layer via copy. And you'll see over here in your layers palette that there's that selection. So now you're going to take that um, layer and drag it on to this image. Okay. I'm going to minimize this one. I don't need it anymore. And now you're going to take your move tool and you're going to move the image. Or, excuse me, move the layer to line it up. And it helps to zoom in closely to see kind of where everything needs to be. And that is pretty darn good. Okay, so, and sometimes it's also helpful to kind of bring down your opacity and make sure everything is uh, where it needs to be. Then you're just going to take your eraser tool. Um, mine's very soft and just erase around the edges to kind of clean it up. I often find if baby moves at all during this process, I may need to do a little bit of cloning and fixing around the ear area and sides of the face, but she was wonderful to spur this pose, so there was really no um, corrections that I need to make. Okay, now that was a good idea to zoom out. Turn that layer off and on a couple of times. Make sure everything looks pretty good. I may take my eraser tool and just to kind of even this out, erase right here for those shadows. Okay, great. And then once you've got everything lined up, go ahead up to layer and then flatten your image. And then you can crop. You've got the, I've got the um, person's nose in here, so I will go ahead and crop that out later. Once I'm all ready for that. Uh, but there you go. It's super simple. Just drag and drop and you have your composite. All right. Thanks so much. Again, this is Carrie Myers with Carrie Myers Photography out of Seattle. And you can find me at www.carriemyersphotography.com.